Bonjour and welcome to Paris Top Tips, your go-to guides for unlocking the secrets of the City of Lights. Paris is a city brimming with history, culture and charm. But navigating its streets and customs can sometimes be a challenge. That's why today I'm sharing with you 25 essential do's and 25 vital don'ts to help you make the most of your Parisian adventure. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, these tips will ensure you have an unforgettable experience and immerse yourself in all that Paris has to offer. So let's dive in and discover how to unlock the best of Paris while avoiding common pitfalls along the way. I've categorized these 50 tips into seven distinct categories. Trip preparation and organization, etiquette and communication, hotels and restaurants, security and scams, transportation, visiting tips, and how to dress in Paris. These will make it easier for you to navigate and focus on the areas that interest you the most. Feel free to use the chapters feature on YouTube to jump to the category that suits your needs best. Our first chapter focuses on trip preparation and organization, ensuring you're ready to tackle Paris with confidence. Planning your Parisian adventure is key to making the most of your time in the city. From creating your itinerary to discovering hidden gems, these tips will help you navigate the bustling streets of Paris like a pro. Planning your trip to Paris can be a thrilling endeavor. It's a city bursting with history, culture, and countless attractions. One piece of advice I always give is to try to spend at least five to seven days here. This gives you ample time to truly immerse yourself in everything Paris has to offer. However, don't come in summer if you're afraid of crowds. It's true that summer in Paris is beautiful, but it's also peak tourist season and the city can get quite crowded. Now on to trip planning. It's crucial to prepare an itinerary in advance so that you can pre-book what's necessary. This ensures you won't miss out on popular attractions or events. However, don't overstuff your itinerary and leave room for unplanned time. Paris is full of delightful surprises and you'll want the flexibility to explore at your own pace. As a matter of fact, don't force yourself to see things just because they are must-dos. Find activities you would like to do beyond the typical tourist must-sees. I would summarize this as don't be a tourist, be a traveler. Tourists tend to gravitate towards the must-sees and their interactions with local cultures might be a tad superficial. Travelers, on the contrary, are cells that thirst for authentic experiences. Eager to immerse themselves in local cultures, they seek out lesser-known spots and often travel off the beaten track. Now let's delve in the realm of etiquette and communication. I often say that Paris is not a foreign city. It is the traveler only who is foreign when visiting Paris. In a city known for its elegance and centuries-long culture, understanding proper manners and communication can enhance your interactions with locals and enrich your overall experience. One key piece of advice I always give is to try to adapt yourself to local customs and habits. Immerse yourself and blend into the Paris population. Being recognizable as a tourist is like shouting to pickpockets, Hey, I'm here! For example, don't speak too loudly when in public. Paris is a bustling city where millions of people work and live, so maintaining a respectful volume is essential. Additionally, don't stand in a way. Parisians are always on the move and blocking pathways can disrupt the flow of pedestrian traffic. Another important point to remember is don't expect everyone to speak English. While many Parisians do speak English, as I do, 
It's polite to learn some key phrases in French and try to use them. At the very least, master the basics. Bonjour for hello. Pardon for excuse me. Merci for thank you. And au revoir for goodbye. Oh, by the way, another tip. Keep your right when on escalators. The left is for people who want to move faster. A small gesture shows respect for local customs and ensures a smooth flow of foot traffic in busy areas. When it comes to finding the perfect accommodation in Paris, there are a few key things to keep in mind. Firstly, don't book a hotel in some of the worst part of Paris just because it's cheaper. Security should always be your top priority. I highly recommend watching this video with the link in the description below about the parts of Paris to avoid to ensure you stay in a safe area. Also, in the summertime, it's essential to book a hotel with air-conditioned rooms, as the Parisian heat can be quite intense. However, it's not always guaranteed, so be sure to double-check before making your reservation. While Booking.com offers over 10,000 accommodations in Paris, as you can see, fewer than 3,000 of them have air-conditioned rooms. And while your hotel may offer a delightful breakfast spread, I'd strongly recommend that some days you have breakfast at a bakery or at a local cafe instead. It's a great way to immerse yourself in the local culture and try some delicious pastries. Now let's talk about dining out in Paris. Avoid eating at most restaurants near the major attractions, as they tend to be tourist traps. Look out for restaurants with people in front of them trying to bring you inside, or those with menus in multiple languages displayed outside. Instead, try to recognize the authentic French restaurants, where you can experience genuine Parisian cuisine. I highly recommend watching some of my recurring Paris Restaurant of the Month videos for more dining recommendations. When dining out, make sure you book a table at your restaurant of choice, especially if it's a popular spot. And be aware that most restaurants will not open before 7 p.m., so plan your dining schedule accordingly. Upon arriving at the restaurant, wait to be seated. It's considered polite in French culture. If you're dining at a typical French restaurant, be adventurous and try typical French meals like choucroute, cassoulet, or boeuf bourguignon. You can even try more exotic options such as snails or pork strutter. And for the truly adventurous, give andouillette a try. It's a traditional French sausage made from intestines and spices, a delicacy for those with a bold palate. And, of course, don't forget to indulge in the delicious French cheeses. When it comes to beverages, don't feel obliged to pay for bottled water. Instead, ask for a carafe d'eau. It's free and just as refreshing. However, don't expect to be served ice cubes with your water. It's not a common practice in France. And at the end of your meal, don't expect to be given the bill automatically. You have to ask for it. And remember, tipping in restaurants is not obligatory, as service is already included. If you appreciated your waiter's service, consider adding a small tip of 2 or 3 euros per person as a token of your gratitude. Security and avoiding scams are paramount when traveling, especially in a bustling city like Paris. As I mentioned in my previous videos about scams in Paris, check the link in the description below, it's crucial to always keep an eye on your valuables. Pickpocketing can happen in crowded areas, so be vigilant at all times. If necessary, consider purchasing an anti-theft backpack to keep your belongings safe. These backpacks often come with hidden compartments and reinforced traps, making it difficult for thieves 
to access your belongings. And remember, never carry your smartphone in the back pockets of your jeans. It's an easy target for pickpockets. Ensure you inform any teenagers traveling with you about this. When it comes to avoiding scams, there are a few key things to keep in mind. Firstly, don't sign any petitions. Scammers often use petitions as a distraction technique to pickpocket unsuspecting tourists. Similarly, don't accept any so-called friendship bracelets from strangers. These are often given as a guise to solicit money from you. And when you arrive in Paris, be cautious of fake taxi drivers at airports and train stations. Only use reputable taxi companies or ride-sharing services to ensure your safety. If in doubt, ask for recommendations from airport or train station staff. By following these simple do's and don'ts, you can help ensure your trip to Paris is safe and enjoyable. Transportation in Paris can be a bit of a mixed bag, but with a few tips, you can navigate the city like a pro. Let's dive into some essential do's and don'ts to help you navigate the city efficiently. As much as possible, don't rely on taxis or Uber. The street of Paris can often resemble a unique, gigantic traffic jam, especially during peak hours. Instead, opt for the Paris Metro for swift journeys. It's fast, efficient, and can take you almost anywhere in the city. Plus, it's a quintessential Parisian experience. If you have the time, consider taking the bus. It's a fantastic way to explore and see the real Paris. Unlike the Metro, which is mostly underground, the bus allows you to take in the sights and sounds of the city as you travel. However, if you do choose to take the metro, try to avoid peak hours. Certain lines, like the WEN or the 13, can be a nightmare during rush hour. And when you board the metro, don't stay by the doors. Move inside as much as you can, as pickpockets often target unsuspecting tourists near the exits. Another important tip, don't throw away your metro ticket until you exit the station. You may need it to exit, especially if you're traveling on the RER. And Paris metro controllers can be quite sneaky about checking tickets. Lastly, if you're planning a day trip to Versailles or Disneyland, I highly recommend taking the RER. It's cheap, fast and convenient, offering direct access to both destinations. For more detailed information, check out my video linked in the description below. By following these do's and don'ts, you'll be able to navigate the Parisian transportation system with ease, allowing you to focus on enjoying everything this beautiful city has to offer. When it comes to visiting Paris, there are countless sites and experiences to explore. Let's delve into some essential do's and don'ts to help you make the most of your time in the City of Light. If you enjoy visiting museums and attractions, I highly recommend purchasing the Paris Museum Pass. It offers excellent value for money and grants you access to numerous museums and monuments across the city. For more information, check out my video about Paris Passes, linked in the description below. Additionally, there are several excellent museums in Paris that offer free entry, such as the Musée Carnavalet, the Maison de Victor Hugo, the Archive Nationale, and plenty more. Here are four more tips to enhance your Parisian experience. Firstly, if you plan on visiting the Eiffel Tower, be sure to book your tickets well in advance. Reservations open 60 days before your visit. So mark your calendar accordingly to secure your spot, especially if you want to get to the summit. Secondly, if you're planning to visit the Arc de Triomphe, never attempt to cross the roundabout. Instead, use the dedicated tunnel to access it safely. Thirdly, consider doing a river cruise along the Seine. 
It offers breathtaking views of Paris's most iconic landmarks and is a fantastic way to see the city from a different perspective. And finally, I highly recommend taking a tour with a local guide. Whether it's a free walking tour, a museum tour, or a guided food tour, getting insights from a local adds a whole new dimension to your Parisian experience. And there are dozens of different tours, catering to all tastes. As I briefly mentioned in the trip preparation and organization chapter, don't forget to slow down and chill. No FOMO fear of missing out. Take the time to savor each moment and immerse yourself fully in the Parisian atmosphere. By following these tips, you'll be able to immerse yourself in the beauty and culture of Paris, creating memories that will last a lifetime. When it comes to dressing in Paris, it's about striking the right balance between comfort and style. Let's explore some essential do's and don'ts to help you navigate Parisian fashion with confidence. Firstly, dress however you like, but keep in mind that overly casual attire might make you stand out as a tourist. And no, no one in Paris walks around dressed like they just stepped out of the Emily in Paris set. Secondly, wear comfortable shoes. Paris is a city made for walking, with its charming cobblestone streets and picturesque boulevard. Avoid wearing high heels, as they can be uncomfortable and impractical on uneven pavement. And now, for a fashion faux pas to avoid, don't wear a beret. While it might seem like a quintessentially French accessory, Parisians rarely sport berets, especially not the bright wet ones. Wearing a beret can actually draw attention to yourself as a tourist, so it's best to leave it at home. Lastly, a practical tip to keep in mind. Don't forget to go to the toilet whenever you can. Public restrooms in Paris are not as plentiful as you might expect. So take advantage of any opportunities to use the facilities. And there you have it. My ultimate guide to navigating Paris like a pro. Before we wrap up, here's one last tip. Don't forget to enjoy life while in Paris. Take the time to savor every moment, whether it's sipping coffee at a sidewalk cafe, strolling around the Seine, or admiring the city's architectural marvels. Au revoir et bon voyage à Paris. <laughs>